30 minutes strategy part two. The reason why I'm doing 30 minutes strategy is to help anyone who wants to use lower time frame, who wants to come in the trade and enter and get money the same day. This is more of scalping, but again, even if you won't scalp like the way people scalp five pips, 10 pips, it's a scalping strategy that can help you to hold for 30 minutes, one hour, but not more than one day. Anyway, so I have done a part one on the 30 minute strategy and I have really given many details uh, towards the strategy. And what I have decided is I will teach, I think I will have even to part five, I will do this 30 minute strategy until people are confident on what to do. So what many people do when they open the chart on four hour, uh, what I said on the other video is when you're trading 30 minutes, your four hour is your friend. So four hour goes with 30 minutes. Anytime you have a structure on four hour, if you want to enter or continue with the trend, 30 minutes will help you. What do I mean? This is what I mean. If at all, I have an uptrend. If this is an uptrend, the market is going up, down, up, down. So what can we say there? that is? That's an uptrend, right? So if I have an uptrend and the resistance has been broken on four hour. So let's assume this is four hour time frame. Let's assume this is four hour time frame and the market is on an uptrend. I already know when resistance breaks, the market will always come to retest back. So because I know the retracement will go back, majority of people think it has to come this way, it has come to this way. Nobody knows exactly where the retracement will be. This is where now 30 minutes get in. This is where you bring your 30 minutes game. So 30 minutes comes in when you have identified the trend, when you have identified that uh, a resistance has been broken and now the retracement uh, is happening and you don't know which level the market will hit. So that's how we use that minute. So this is our four hour time frame. You can see our four hour time frame, the market has been buying. So the market broke that resistance. Can you see the market broke that resistance very clearly? And once the, what I keep telling people, don't chase this trend. People try to chase this trend once they see it breaking. But they need to understand that the market, once it breaks, it comes to retest. The question is, where is it retesting to? That is the major question you should ask yourself. Majority of people can identify an uptrend. They can identify the market has broken structure. We have the, uh, we have BOS. Uh, green candles are powerful. Um, they are indicating buyers are in control. But the question is, Yes, buyers are in control, but where do you put your buy trade? Comment down below. Where do you think we should put our buy trade? And if this market we are waiting for retracement, where do you think the retracement will happen? So this is the place where majority of traders will use Fibonacci tool. This is where people will use order block. This is where people will use all kinds of things like um, we call what fair value gap. This is where people will use moving average, like many people use different things when they come to retracement. Guys, I want to make everything simpler. For me, I don't mind my strategy being so easy and and you think because they're easy they are, they are not relevant. For me, I would rather have something so simple but easy to apply because there's someone who will tell you, put a moving average. For instance, we can even try to put moving average Ah, it's been a minute since I used moving average. So I can try to put moving average. Um, so I was I was using, I was using uh when I started Forex, I, I was using 20 MA. Hey, oh my god, I'm getting back memories. I was using 20 MA. I just want to show you what people do in terms of the market has broke. So there are category of people who will use. So I want to even to compare those people who use moving average, those who use Fibonacci tool, those who use um, value via gap order block and me who use a pattern. I want to just compare and see what is happening. And that's why I'm telling you, 
this and uh, this uh, uh, teachings that I'm doing here on YouTube, you will learn a lot. So this one, I let's put it 50. This is how you put 50. Oh, I remember when I was doing this. And it used to give us money, but I came to realize sometimes it doesn't work according to how we may want. And the last one is 200 DMA. So I had all this 200 DMA. They were actually showing me if retracement should happen, where will the market go? And what we will do together, guys, we will we will try to we'll try to understand where if retracement has to work, where will the market go? So this is moving average. And you have to understand, I don't use moving average anymore. I already have a pattern and I use double tops, double bottoms if the market retra for retracement. So I don't necessarily use moving average. I just want to show you point blank what people have been using. So if it's to use moving average, majority of people would think the market will retrace at there. We'll trace at, you see where the red moving average. So majority of people will come and do their buy limits. So someone will say, this market will come to the 20 EMA. So I will do my buy order, long position, my buy limit. So that once it hits, it activates me. And understand guys, once a resistance is created, the market always go to the next resistance. So let's say the market is coming all the way here. So there's someone who will say, I am putting here. So the red, um, the red line, it represents those who are using moving average. And you can see they will use, there's someone who will say, I'm waiting for the market to retest to 50 and I will use the market to retest to 200. If the market comes to 200, now I know the market will now continue buying. That's how majority will do. Now, if I hide the moving average, now we go to another thing. Understand those who use moving average, that's the zones. That's how they mark the most important zones in this market. Now let's go to ICT people. ICT people, how are you? <laughs> so let's go to ICT people. ICT, uh, is it ICT? Oh, I don't know if I'm mentioning it well. These people use order block. Those people who use order block, comment down below. What are they called? What is the name of people who use order block? So ICT people, they will see that order block. That is order block there. And they will mark it there. So the order block there is for IT, ICT, those who use um, order block. And let me mention it, order block. Remember, everyone is looking a place where they can get retracement so that they can understand how the market will go up. Up to the market being an uptrend, breaking resistance, majority of retail traders know that. But the point that everyone now has diverse of information is when now everyone knows, yes, it's a buy, but how much will it retrace? So majority of people will use different things. So for order block guys, they will use they will use that area. For Fibonacci people, Fibonacci tool, so let me take the Fibonacci retracement, they will start the, you see? So the zero is where the market started that low to that high. So the, the 100 starts here and the retracement, you can see, they, they will say the golden rule the golden rule, or they can say the retracement is that 38, 50, 61. So the, whoever uses Fibonacci, this is their area. And you see, the, the, reason, the, the bad thing with Fibonacci, how will you know which one now will you target? The Fibonacci guys, they, it's like they don't understand themselves. Between 38 and 50, they don't know even where to target. So they are confused, even them. They don't know where to target. If you use Fibonacci to tell us, do you use 38? Do you use 50? Do you use 61? We need to know. We can learn something from you. So the, the line there is for Fibonacci people. The green zone is for Fibonacci. So I can write Fib tool. Fib tool. So the Fib is the, the Fib tool is where I have marked green. Notice the red places is for people who use moving average. How will you know 20, 50 or 200 will work? At least for people with order block, they can have the first order block and they can still have the second order block. 
because they are thinking this market will still come here. So for order block guys, also they have, they don't have even a way where they know this one, this is where the market will go. I want to show you different strategies that people use. So that when you start criticizing, oh, double bottom, oh, double bottom, <laughs> double bottoms does not work. You look for yourself. So there are people who use fair value gap. There are people who will use uh, where the market retreats. That's where the market is coming, all those things. But this is what people use. But what does Esther Mofri, Mofri FX course, what do we use as Mofri FX Academy? What do we use? We use anytime a double, uh, a, a, a market is showing us momentum of buying. If the trend is buy, and I want you to understand very well, if a trend is buy, the only pattern I want to see is a double bottom. And if it is from that immediate, it's, it's more accurate. It is 99% accurate. That's what I understand. So if a trend is by and resistance has been broken, I just need to find a double bottom. And if I find it on that immediate, let me tell you, it is very accurate. So uh, before I knew about the 30 minute strategy, for me, I would have marked on four hour this is my double bottom. Can you see that red candle? I would have marked that should be my double bottom. But when I realized that when I have a buy on four hour and I'm looking for retracement, looking for double bottom in the same time frame, it's not possible. It's not possible, guys. So what do I do? I will go to three hours, check. Do I have any double bottom on three hours on anywhere I have, I have mentioned? There is nothing. I go to two hours. Do I have any double bottom? Can you see? There's no double bottom apart from, uh, there's a double bottom here on two hours. Can you see where there's an order block? And I don't want a double bottom on two hours. I'm looking, do I have a double bottoms on one hour? You can see the same where order block. And you see order block, uh, having this double bottom on two hours is not surprisingly because it's still available on four hour. You can see it on four hour, guys. So I would be like, oh, I have a double top or double bottom on, on two hours. It's already on four and I can see it. If I go on one hour, what is happening? Do I have a double bottom? Nothing. I don't have. And then when I go to 30 minutes, what do I find? I find that I have a double bottom on 30 minutes that is not. In fact, I have two zones. I have zone one and I have zone two. Where I have marked green, those places are available. So for me, it is evident enough that I have a double bottom. That's where my like my zone to check is. So this is my possible double bottom. Understand, guys? Possible double bottom. So that is my possible double bottom. And it's coming all the way to from. 30 minutes so even if i highlight if i highlight that area like that and now we start going to one hour tell me will you see it it is hidden it is hidden from your eyes if you go to two hours can you see that zone hidden again if you go to three hours can you see it hidden again and you go to four hours hidden again so for me i know my area of interest i already know my area of interest is this zone that has been hidden on 30 minutes. So when the market activates 20 MA, I don't have a problem. When the market comes to 50% on 50, I don't have a problem. For me, I know once it activates on 30 minutes, I will just look for an entry and I will use this strategy. The problem with order blocks, the problem with order block is I have to order block. How will I know that this order block is the one that we pick? For me, if I have two double bottoms, okay, Fibonacci, there's an area of 38, there's an area of 61, and uh, there's an area of 50. How will you know if they will take 38 or 50? That is a question. I want you to comment down below. How do you guys tell? If I have moving average and I have moving, moving average of 20 EMA, uh, 50 EMA, 200 EMA, what is the criteria of me to be told that this is the EMA I have? But if I have... <clears throat> two double bottoms on one on 30 minutes and the other one, uh, the other below, 
the criteria for me for this double bottom is using CRB. So my strategy has a way of even entry and that's what makes it more better. So you can imagine we are now on 30 minutes. We are now on 30 minutes and we are waiting for the market to come to those areas. Don't be interested to buy at that area. Don't be interested to sell. So we are seeing the market coming down and for the, anyone who used um, a FIB tool, already their 50% have been activated. So if you are putting a buy trade, what, uh, what if it continues to go up to 78%? That's my question. Anyone who was using moving average, what if it continued to go to 50 moving average? That's another thing. Anyway, let's continue to see what happened. Did they activate, activate my, my double bottom? Uh, we are going so fast. Let me go back. So our double bottom, you can see our double bottom was activated slightly. Can you see? Slightly activated. Slightly activated. So in short, anyone who used Fibonacci for me, I don't know. It didn't work. It passed. Anyone who is using 20 MA, it didn't work. The market continued. And what was left? Double bottom got activated. And I cannot enter this double bottom because it has been activated without using CRB strategy, current resistance break. So I will wait for my current resistance to break so that I can enter on that buy. So even, even if I have a double bottom on 30 minutes, I'm very careful. So if I go to one hour, you can see there's nothing. There's nothing that is telling you this market will stop there and continue to buy. it, And that's why those uh, 30 minutes is used to hide the information. Can you go to two hours? There's nothing. Can you go to four hours? There is nothing. So you, you will say, how will I ever know retracement is happening? Because I check on my four hour, the market just stops from nowhere and continues to buy. No, never call a zone nowhere. If the market stops, it must have stopped because of something. So we go to 30 minutes and we understand that to be on this trade, to be on this trade, we need CRB. CRB strategy is current resistance break. So we need CRB. So we are looking for a resistance to be broken. So we have a green, green candle. We have another green candle. And then <clears throat> once a red candle is created like that, we have a CRB. You need to understand how is resistance created? Resistance is created when a green candle is followed by a red candle. That's how resistance is created. So we are waiting for the market to break that resistance. So we are hoping they don't violate. If they break, if they break this, they will be coming here. And still this double bottom is still not on any other time frame. So we are hoping they don't do that. So let's see what happens. So the market again continues to go up. And all along, we are not in this trade until CRB is broken. Current resistance break is broken. So we have got a new resistance, green candle followed by a red candle. So I will drop my resistance to that area and I hope my resistance will be broken. So can you see our entry, guys? That was the entry for that trade. Tell me, tell me, guys, if you are on four hour, how would you have known? How would you have known that the market is now ready to buy. When you look at the left, there's nothing. If you see me teaching with passion is to know that Forex is easy if you have best rule, like you have principles, you have things that makes you enter. Anyone who was trying to trade order block, have the market uh, activated order block. Anyone who was trying to trade moving average, anyone who was trying to trade Fibonacci tool, they are not aware. So. Our first entry, guys, our first entry is there. Imagine how many pips are we targeting? From that area, we are targeting 52 pips, 52. So 52 pips, they are the most accurate pips that you will ever find. When you have 30 minutes and it's not on other time frame, 
that is the most accurate pips you will get in your lifetime. So the market, let's see what happens. Did it hit the take profit? And also we will check the retracement. How did the market retrace? So these are the trades that you should enter and relax. So the market is approaching our half and still we will use the same criteria when it comes to the half. How do we use the same criteria? If half is broken, you can see 50 pips activated, 50 pips activated. Let's measure the retracement. How much was the retracement? The retracement was 10 pips. The market only went 10 pips, guys. 10 pips only for it to activate the half. Oh my goodness. So if this half will be broken, if this half will be broken, guess what? We are trading back to the neckline because the criteria for half to break is breaking with a body. So again, you monitor. Remember, we are on this trade using 30 minutes. You're no longer interested on four hour. If you go to four hour, you'll never understand your chart. So imagine how many pips do we want to, to earn up to the neckline? Let's measure again uh, the pips we would want to get. So we are getting 79 pips. This again is accurate. We'll still check the retracement level. You got almost, you got 50 plus pips to the neckline. Now you are looking forward to 79. The question is, how long did it take? How long did it take for the market to get to take profit to the neckline, take profit to? And we will still check how was the retracement. Did the market retrace with many pips? How was the retracement? So the market comes and hit the take profit. Don't say, oh, you have been stopped out. I told you guys, for me to use a stop loss, I will always use ATR. ATR average, and that's what I tell students. If you want to use stop loss, use the place where you know that this market, I'm not giving this money to the market. Anyone who used who used these zones to get the stop loss, they were stopped out. So 79 pips were bought from this trade. Now, the question is, how was the retracement? We entered by here. First, we, we got 35 pips, but the market retraced with 44 pips. This time, there was so much retracement, and it's 44 pips. So if you had done... Uh, one is to one, 70 pip stop loss because you're targeting 70, you would have got it. Now, when you come to the neckline, the question is, how do we trade? How do we trade to the neckline? I always tell you guys, to trade to the neckline, we use BW. And this BW is for my students. So if you're interested to trade a BWA strategy, you just need to buy my course if you're an international student or you're not in Kenya. If you're in Kenya, come to my class, physical class, and I'll teach you. You can imagine the journey has not ended. The market is still buying. It is still promising us TP3. The question is, how will you get TP3? By using BWA. Let's see, first of all, before even you use BWA, we need that resistance, that neckline to be broken. So that is the first goal. Is neckline broken? Is neckline broken? So let's see, you can't enter by if the neckline is not broken. So we will see, did they break neckline? Can you see they broke the neckline? Now if you use uh, the BW strategy and you use buy, let's say you have already used uh, the strategy and you want to buy back to TP3, did it hit? The question is, did it hit? You have a now 75 pips, did it hit? This is the most profitable strategy I've ever come across because you will earn uh, so many ways. So not only uh, the market did retracement, the question is you have to know how the market will retrace, where we, it will retrace to, and we can tell, did it even go to TP4? That is not guaranteed. Did this market go to TP4? It went up to TP4. The question is from this double bottom on 30 minutes, that was not in any time frame. If you are using four hour, the question is where would you have entered? What would have given you more confidence? 
what would have you, any, anything that we used, order block, they was never activated. All these, they were never activated. So this is to show you that if you master what I'm teaching you here, by the end of this year, you'll be making money. You'll be making profit. Trust me, you'll be making profit. So our first entry was here. How would you have entered if you don't flip on 30 minutes? How would you have known that this market, if you waited for this resistance to be broken, you can see it just took one four hour candle. So anyone who was pairing at four hour, in short, they never made money. And majority, maybe they lost because they were trying to sell when there was a clear pattern. All the best guys, hope this part two has shed so many lights. As I do part three, I will help you even more to understand because any concept I'll be doing uh, part one, part two, and part three to even make you understand in a better way. All the best and love you so much. God bless you.